How many MCs do you know? Go deep on a track like Jack Cousteau, I get low. He's blowing up on Facebook and Twitter, on the loose with local props. Give an octopus eight high fives, you know? Langdon Auger, the name? A skewed translation of a Simpsons character. Homegrown hip hop, hard at work. Check it out, that's the A U G. The A G to the G from B I C. Born in Edmonton, Langdon moved to Vancouver Island at a young age. He first tried rapping when he was 11, recording himself over the Humpty Dance. I've always been into music, and uh, my dad was a music fan, always had records lying around, and you know, I was always playing them, and just, just hip hop, I don't know, just the beat, I just liked it. Do a little freestyle here, come on. Yeah. But the biggest challenge facing him in his early rap career, his mother. She wouldn't let him listen to all the explicit lyrics. Quite right too, young man. Me to stay facts, I give them. Maybe 88, 89, two live crew put out as nasty as they want to be. And so I was in the music store and it says right on there, parental advisory, explicit lyrics, right? So my mom's like, you're not getting that. The music class, Which only made him listen to it more. Funny how that works. <laughs> Into the 1990s, and Langdon began to produce beats. Attending Claremont High School, he rapped with his friends in the parking lot. And in 2001, after grad, he moved to Vancouver to pursue both his music career and to get a business degree. Not only did he get radio play in Vancouver, in 2004 he was featured on Shaw TV's Urban Rush. Once I'd had my fun in Vancouver after four years, my family and friends are all from here. I grew up in Victoria. Just came back and sort of started making music. I used to be able to relate. The money was cool, the friends and family, great. I dog paddle through life and tread water. Try to make dough hurt nobody, that's auger. I'm trying to make this my new motto. You get what you give sometimes, good friends. Tip the bottle. Today, at the age of 32, he's married with a child on the way. And when this fishing industry sales rep gets home from work, the only thing he's hooked on is the next catchy beat. I work in Sydney, nine to five, sell a hoochie, forgive me. Some songs I'll start and just will not finish them, it just doesn't work. Other ones happen in a half an hour, yeah. and usually those are the best ones. You got a lot of style, man. The people, my fans, seem to like the stuff that I'm making, and it, it's pretty local, and I think music as a whole is localizing now because you're seeing more, you know, more. there's more opportunity for bands. They can record their own stuff now. You can have a home studio. And over here we got some preamps, some compression, some different hardware EQ, some analog love. A good song is one people can relate to. His latest album, Illuminagi, ties into the New World Order conspiracy theory. When I make a project or an album, I feel like I'm finishing it off with a release party. And that party's taking place this Saturday at Sugar Nightclub in Victoria. Just performing, that's how you really connect with fans and make new fans. People seem to appreciate me for that local stuff, so I just keep doing it, I guess. And that's me. Yo, you gonna come check the show on Saturday for free? No, it's ten bucks, but yo. The fish In Victoria, I'm James Green for The Daily. Saturday night at Sugar. Yo, come on, I'm freestyling.